Hello, this is Valerie Aiello, and you're listening to Idea Diary. Thanks for coming back to my office and hanging out. So I'm still very distracted today. It's crazy. We had a leaky pipe, called a plumber, which is coming soon. And I still, for whatever reason, haven't been able to focus and have my long morning to myself and all the the things that are making my life more organized and flow a lot better and whatever it is, I cannot concentrate. Maybe you're out there feeling the same thing today. It's just a little bit wild. Well, I was thinking about my show yesterday, so I had some audio issues and yes I tried to fix them the best that I could I still wanted to post when I was talking about my analytics video I kind of made it seem like I wasn't trying hard at all and I don't think I didn't mean that I wasn't trying hard I meant that the things that I am trying hard on are just speaking and posting without feeling self-conscious and I'm not trying to make really slick videos. I'm not trying to make super searchable content that is well thought out necessarily. I'm just doing it in steps as far as what can I be good at now. So the things that I can be good at now are practicing speaking, practicing trying to make sense. I'm kind of a confusing person naturally. I can never quite always get exactly what I mean out pretty fast. Trying to get over that and just getting over the idea that it's scary to post. I obviously want to have a good show, but at the same time, if it's just not yet, I'm kind of cool with going up the ladder and progressing at whatever level that I'm at. That I guess that is hard, but that's not, it's all stuff I can control. It's work, you know, about an hour of work a day. I feel like everyone should have a podcast, pretty much of any business at all, whatever you're doing, stop and get a microphone or start with whatever equipment you've got because you could use your laptop, you can use your phone, you can do it any way possible. Just get started and start uh, recording and uploading, even if it's completely embarrassing. Just trying to think what valuable thing can I talk about today? So I decided to let you guys know about my office plant that my friend Kristen bought me. And it's got a snake plant. Now, I'm trying to learn about flowers. I'm trying to have more fresh plants and flowers and just that energy around me. I feel like I need it ever since the apocalypse happened. I've never been a plant or a flower person because I've never been able to really take care of them. And I always felt like there was something better to spend money on, like tech or music or buying drinks for everybody. But now that I'm getting into plants and the world is slowing down on some level, my friend Kristen bought me this snake plant. So the reason why people like this particular plant is that they survive in low light areas and in shaded areas. They lean towards warm temperatures, so they're a really good inside plant, and they hold up in really dry soil so you don't have to water them all the time. So if you kind of forget about your plant for a couple weeks, this guy is supposed to survive whatever you could possibly do to it. I've had this snake plant mm, maybe since June and it's been going pretty well. I haven't repotted it yet into the planter that I purchased, but I feel like it's just pretty cozy, cozy in its little plot that it came in. So I'm going to let it live there for a, a minute. And I ended up buying this glass bowl. So it's like a fish bowl. I think it's a terrarium bowl. So you're supposed to put succulents and rocks and things in it. So it's not necessarily a plant holder for a normal plant, but I really like this plant holder. I believe it was 20 bucks and I used the 40% off coupon. It was Michael's or Hobby Lobby where I got this little glass bowl. But I really like it because it fits my style in a way that I really like retro space age bachelor pad, kind of 60s space Jetsons vibe. I like that sort of decor. So anyway, I thought 
this is a good planter, and I thought it would look cool once I put my extra dirt in and to kind of see how kind of see how the roots grow and everything. So if you're looking for a plant that's pretty hard to kill, that gives you all the benefits uh, that plants give you when you have them inside by recirculating and freshening the air naturally. Snake plants are pretty good. I don't know if this has grown at all since I've gotten it. I feel like it might have grown an inch or so, but I don't know what the end result is or how long you keep them, but something's happening. I think it's pretty good. You know, if you're having trouble concentrating or you're really stressed out or you're feeling hopeless, I think just friendly reminder that if you could just imagine yourself being successful no matter what, and you're choosing yourself for your own success and nothing's going to stop you, whatever your goals are, you're just going to achieve them all. And even if you don't know exactly what you want to do, maybe write out just a million different scenarios of something that you want to do that you're going to be happy at doing. You know, you don't have to have everything figured out. The things that you want don't have to necessarily be possible. You can imagine the craziest things in the world, but feeling that Eeyore, like there's a rain cloud over your head, like nothing's possible and everything's ruined and there's all these outside forces stopping you. That could be true today, but it also could be, there could be solutions to problems that are holding you back and you just have to figure them out just thinking about possibilities of what would make you feel amazing, where you are in full control. No one else is necessarily helping you and you don't need anyone else to approve you or to tell you that it's okay if you do that or you have permission or you're good enough now or you're smart enough now. You know, whatever barriers are holding you back from being 100% like you're achieving all the things that you want to achieve. Just write it out. See the possibilities and don't feel defeated because everything happens for a reason or that's what I've seemed to gather that even bad things that are happening sometimes have really good outcomes and things that you would never expect happen can come from horrible experiences and sometimes maybe watching comeback stories. I really like comeback stories where people just had super hard lives and they just pushed through. Like Phyllis Diller had a super hard life and she ended up making all her dreams come true. Ronnie Dangerfield had a super hard life. Um, Bukowski had a super hard life. The things that they wanted in their life did end up happening even though it was hard and it felt impossible. They just never stopped working, you know. They might have had times when they did stop working, but they always came back to it. I'm working on that today. I'm trying to put myself in super high frequency energy where I'm thinking about what can I accomplish today? How much can I accomplish tomorrow? Removing any barrier whatsoever and just keep working and keep trying to make things happen and hopefully doing it a little bit faster and getting over my distraction phase. You know, I was doing pretty good meditating every day. It's pretty much hit me like the end of October where July, August, September, October, it was like that fourth month mark was when I started to trail off, but I'm getting it back. It's not going to be today because for whatever reason, I'm super distracted again, but it's going to be tomorrow, I believe. One thing that it never really occurred to me, and I feel like someone said it, and I have zero idea of who said it, but they had talked about imagine yourself being appreciated by your peers or by people that you really admire. Go into your own imagination and just Imagine scenarios where people are really appreciating you instead of that negative self-talk that might be going over in your head. It goes over in everyone's head where you feel like you're not good enough. Even super geniuses and super high-functioning, highly successful people still have that negative self-talk in their head. Just think about yourself 
you don't need anyone's permission. Whatever your dreams are, you can figure out a way to do it right now. And you have everything inside you to do something amazing that's totally unique to you. Even if it was something you thought about when you were 10 years old, maybe there's a way. Now, if you want to be a surgeon or something like that, you're going to have to go to school. School is kind of one of those things where it's like maybe you learn one little nugget. If you enjoy it, if you want to do it, you should do it. But if you hate it and it feels soul-sucking, there's always another way to do something. And it could be there could be a solution that's even more amazing without the degree or the whatever. So anyway, I'm rambling. Sorry about that. Hopefully this was an okay show. I know I feel distracted and unprepared, but I'm, I'm not giving up. I'm still pulling through and I hope to see you tomorrow. Thanks for listening on iTunes or Spotify or other. Or thank you for watching this podcast on YouTube. Yeah, I super appreciate it. I still don't know how to end the show, so I'm just going to play the music.